Hi everybody, here's Christian and I am distracted. You've unlocked my hidden power. Oh my word. Can I can I lick the abs? Mm -hmm. Be careful not to cut yourself. <laughs> you're I don't care. You mm. you're ripped on the inside and outside. Ooh la la. A lot of ripping mm -hmm. going on here. Don't touch my tralala. -la. No my ding ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a let's play of Monster Hunter Generations. And we are finally Hunter Rank 7, is that true? Yeah. Is 7 the right one? Okay, that's good. So we are 7, yep. we have what? red names. We're all, we're, we, we, we almost, we will almost be free and know what our true Hunter Rank is one day. One day. But for now, we are going to do a quest. Yep. Uh, it's the Peril of the Land. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is a, uh, Hyper Derumbros. Hyper and I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna have oh, to man. go to the quest to read details to read this. It's okay. I know because okay. I was waiting. Okay. I got this. Okay. Um, it is from uh, the um, mountain loving youth. A hyper de Rumbros is running amok, ripping out trees and threatening to reduce our mountains to ruins. <laughs> Please <laughs> defeat this beast that. and save our beautiful land. You are channeling. You are you're channeling <laughs> like the Joker right there in between here. That was amazing. <laughs> Tulu. Those skills. Um, yeah, so we were talking about Marvel movies last time around. Yeah. Uh, about Guardians of the Galaxy, which is great. Actually, you know, the movie, the, the second uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, made me actually really curious for the for the comics. Have you guys read the comics? No. Uh, I never read any of the Guardians of the Galaxy's comics, and the post credits for two made me look up a bunch of stuff mm. on it, and it really was like, wow. There is a long history of Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, is that so? Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was more a more uh, so, recent one. So you, you will. There was the end credits where they had the group of Ravagers. Yeah, um, that was apparently the Guardians from the like the six, late sixties, early seventies. Oh, so it's the old Guardians, so to speak. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, "Where the heck? Where, why was these people matter?" And I had to look it up. I'm mm. like, "That's kind of cool. It's amazing." Uh, but I mean, and it's one of those. The Guardians of the Galaxies is one of those teams that's changed like dozens of times oh, over the years. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it hasn't always been Star Lord and Gamora and all of them. So okay. Well, you know, this this is the team that I'm that I am interested in. Yep. So I don't know. Yeah. How how recent is that makeup of people? I want to say Star Lord was the nineties. Hmm. Makes sense. Would make sense. Um. But even then, like when Star Lord first started, it wasn't with the the same group. Um. Hmm. It was just, you know the Star Lord character and being part of the Guardians was like in the mid nineties, I think, and then. I don't remember when Gamora and Drax and all of them showed up. It's a really nice team. They're, 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 they have some really nice, varied yeah. characters going on there. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, it, it, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy, it, to some extent, ends up being like the weird like um, X-Men of everyone but X-Men. Mm -hmm. Like Everyone is in it at some point in time. Venom was in it at one point in time. I even think Carnage was a Guardian of the Galaxy at one point what? in time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there were some, also some Howard the Duck references, I yep. guess. Mm -hmm. Is Howard the yep. Duck a guardian of the galaxy? No. Uh, that was just a more of a nod to the fact that, you know, there was the Howard the Duck movie that everyone wants to forget. It's a bad movie. And most, and, and most people, even who do know of the movie, don't realize that that is a Marvel character. Mm -hmm. I thought, um, like, George Lucas had some slight ownership over him. No? Uh, he, he did the movie, and there was weird things with that mm. uh, because of that. So very weird, very weird movie. Yeah, awkward. It was a very weird time. <laughs> listen, listen, it was a weird time. I was, I was young. I needed the money. I actually saw Howard the Duck in the movie theater. Oh my oh god! god. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh boy. That is most definitely not a kids' movie, by the way. But my mom did not realize that until after well, the fact. It's a funny, <laughs> funny duck, you know. You think like, "Hey, let's go." Well, yeah, and it came out, you know, roughly this, you know, at the time, like that was around the same time. Uh, 
Ninja Turtles yeah, was starting yeah. to come along, and so which used to be kind of like a very dark under underground comic as well. Oh, in the comic, it was very dark. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, well, he's just gonna pound Shepard. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna pound Shepard. If there's somebody, and you're who, okay with that. If there's somebody who can, you can take the beating. That's gonna be Shepard. Um, so I'm mentioning this because you know. We were talking about how I feel um, Guardians of the Galaxy, the tone it hits, is kind of like very um, fitting, I think, I feel, to superhero movies. But recently I talked about, I, on my on my start of playthrough, I talked about how there is one movie that I think is the best, the best uh, Marvel superhero movie to me. Yeah. And that movie is Ant-Man. Good movie. A lot of people think that, like, like that is their, their, their favorite it's, um, I, I like it a lot. I think it's like I, all, all, almost entirely training. Oh damn! Yeah. Oops. Ooh, Shepard. Oh, I, I should train more. Hmm. Need to steal. But I like body. that. I like that. Uh, I like a movie where it's almost entirely like training montages. Well, and it's also, um, um, I talked about this on, on my let's play of, of Stardew Valley, but it's there's like two reasons. One of them is Ant Man is kind of like the the template for te for Ant Man is a heist movie. Yes. Where, yeah. as you as you mentioned, Shepard, it's like a lot of things is like just preparing for the big heist, and and be getting better and understanding things, and that's kind of like a very unusual formula for superheroes, because the heist movie is something where you're somebody who is not very powerful going up against something that's tremendously powerful, and trying to yeah. e eke out some kind of vi victory through being smart and preparing yourself. Whereas superhero movies are usually, you know, are about being tremendously powerful and, and standing above the law and standing above the police and whatever, you know. And so that's kind of weird that a superhero would want to do a heist, you know. That's kind of like the opposite, so to speak, of what how a superhero operates. Um, but the other reason is also like... That would be a pair. The, the other reason that I, I love um, Ant-Man is it's... I, I never read an Ant-Man comic, and this is superhero, like, the ability seems really lame, <laughs> like, he turns very small, you know? I mean, that's that's fine, but it's not, like, it's very... It's the opposite of what, it's what a superhero usually is, like, big and powerful, and he's, like, tiny. But, and so they have to, like, work harder to convince you of, like, why this is a fun movie, why this is this is great. And and so they do, I think, a very good job at that. Actually, they achieve that. They actually, at the end, they convince you, like, okay, Atman is awesome, and those powers are amazing. My my problem with with it was that the Ant Man that I grew up with and knew was not that. Oh, okay. At all. So he was, he was different. How was he the different? So so the the original one is uh, Doctor Pym is Ant Man. Yes, the 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 character that teaches the new Ant Man. Right, mm -hmm. you, like you, you have a, a an intelligent character who has a, a not known for his strength, mm -hmm. uh, but uses you know his smarts, uh, and it, later on becomes Giant Man, like they show in, yeah. um, much later on, and it uses the, like the the smarts that he has to control ants and shrink his size to outsmart people originally, and later grows into like the can be a, a, a powerhouse. Mm. And the the character... Like, the personality change between the the hero really was... is still disconcerting to some extent. I think it's... I think it works in the Marvel Cinematic Universe when you get the entire cast together. Yeah. Um, but it, it's still a big... Yeah, I, big I, I, I get change. that. I get that. I, I, that's something, like, if I grew up with Ant-Man and they changed something very fundamental about him... I would probably also be upset about it. I do agree. Yeah, and for me, it was like it would almost be like changing um, Iron Man. Mm. Uh, if Iron Man was instead like a, a not a showboat and just you know your mild manner, like a Peter Parker character yeah. instead of you know. Um, like if, we, if it was now. like the intern of of Tony Stark, you know, like some kind of dude. right, just yeah, right. And it, it, it's very just a discon it, it, it's jarring, yeah, yeah. but I mean it, it's it's it. It's a good movie. They're all. I mean that that's the thing. Like, with the exception of I think the second Thor movie, they're all movies that I will want to watch multiple times. Yeah. Second Thor movie that won like they had like alien robots. 
Yeah. I saw like the, the end uh, of that, and I'm like, this is the dumbest stuff I have ever seen. Alien robots. Yeah. What? Well, it's it. It was the uh, the second movie was the uh, Matter Infinity Stone, I believe it was, um, and it was like just basically nanobots. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. There was some <laughs> kind of cloud, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was weird. Uh, yeah, mm, I don't know. I hmm. there's there's some Marvel movies which are just you know just like solid, but not like you know like wow, this is amazing. Like I think some of the yeah. Um, Iron Man movies are the same. It was like, yeah, that's fine. It's okay. Like, yeah, yeah the, se- the second Iron Man movie is most definitely not as good. Nope. And the third movie is is pretty bad too. Nope. But yeah. they're, they're, I can still, I will watch them more than once. Whereas the yeah. Thor movie, I just like, I can't. You, you can put them on, on the Netflix, you know, in the right. evening <laughs> and be like, yeah, I'm just going to turn off my brain for a while. Thanks. Uh, and I think the first Thor movie was one of the weaker, like, first movies. Yeah, yeah. It's still decent, but it's not, it's not, it's not an Iron Man or Guardians by any means. Hemsworth really does a lot to that movie, I would say. Yeah. He's a really good Thor. And he's, he's also very charming. It's a, it's a good, good Hemsworth. I, I love the, uh, the, the skits that they do with him yeah. as, uh, you know, what Thor does between the movies. <laughs> it's so great, <laughs> it's yeah. like. <laughs> Christian uh, BK coming into the chat. How are you? Yeah, that's Clem. Yes, sweet. It's good to. He, he was with us in Mario Kart last week. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you guys were racing. Man, I, know, maybe there, I was some, there was somebody in those races that I I, I I forget their name now, but I hate them. Who was that person again? <laughs> Sanders, I think it was. Sanders. Yeah, Sanders. Man, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he 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 was kind of a dick in chat too. So you know, okay, okay, yes, yeah, that's good. The guy in like, you know, less than a week after the game's out, like he's already like gold three starred every everything. He knows all the shortcuts, right? And, and then and then as he wins every match, he's like, "You guys present no challenge." Wow, it's like okay, dude. Wow, like, lighten up. We're here. To, we're here to play and have fun. That's, that's, that's <laughs> you, it. you are you are the you are the epitome of why I stopped playing any kind of games that have any kind of competitive element. Because mm, very like, sad, very sad. You know, you know, we defeated this Darren Boris here pretty easily, but we wouldn't be jerks to him, right? We, exactly. We wouldn't say like, oh, 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 I want a custom a sp- game mode where every item is a blue shell that only seeks out Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Just all match. Blue shell. Blue shell. Blue shell. Blue shell. It was fun, though. I mean, the the dynamics in, in the new Mario Kart, though, I, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of double items. I can't quite get my head around that yet. I think the double items is a little too vicious. <laughs> Middle of the pack, you can't... It, it really is, like, the <laughs> you rich get, get up rewarded. Here. <laughs> yeah. But if you're in the middle, like, forget about it, because, like... You're getting green shells and like banana peels and everything else behind you is like red shell, red shell, red shell, bullet. I do, I, I, I do love bullet. the new battle modes. Uh, battle modes are good. Battle it's, modes. It's good. Battle modes. The the sequel to Battletoads. Oh yeah. Oh. More Battletoads. Oh, that would be the best if they came back. We need some good beat em up. There are like multi co op multiplayer beat em up. There haven't been some good ones. I think Switch would be a great platform for beat em ups. Yeah, I yeah. Do. I still think it's really great for Binding of Isaac. I'm a big fan of that game on that platform. Hmm. I, I just can't I can't when you don't it goes buy on it sale a I'll buy time it. Or a fifth time? I don't want to buy it a fourth time. You can get it for twenty dollars eventually, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's probably when I'll pick it up. All right, guys, so we're going to move on. Uh, this is Durham Boris, our first quest in Hunter Rank 7, and hopefully there's going to be a lot more coming up that's going to be uh, super exciting. Hope to see you next time around, guys, and as always, good luck and good hunt. So that was a hyper one, Christian. Hyper. Indeed. Yep. I'm hyper, too. Are you hyper? You. I mean, that was also a hyper shepherd that we saw right there. Yeah. I got <laughs> multiple times and died as a result. Of it. <laughs> no, it was no, it was awesome. It was like a porno. <laughs> no. It's after the show. It's fine. It's gonna stay in. <laughs> that happens all the time in WWF. 
Remember yeah. Yakazuma? What was his name? Didn't he, wasn't that one of his things? Yep. Running low on money? Get yourself some golden eggs by using a Squatty Potty! Brought to you by Squatty Potty!